hey guys welcome to my channel so the topic for today is can you mix RAMs so um, requirements need to check before upgrading your your setup to a new kind of RAM or mixing your RAMs is that there's six things to keep in mind this is my own self uh, checklist to see there's six things number one is setup of the RAM number two type of memory Number three is check specs for cross-checking. Number four, check the pins number of the RAM. Number five is megahertz. And lastly, configuration. So number one, uh, setup of RAM upgrade. So example one, for example, your current setup is four gigabyte times two sticks, which is eight gigabytes. Uh, let's say you bought a CP computer, then it comes with eight gigabytes of RAM then you have to know what kind of RAM, how does it do sometimes it comes in one stick of 8GB which is awesome so you can upgrade more but sometimes uh, you, if it's like uh, 2 sticks normally gives 4GB times 2 is 8 so you need to upgrade only 4GB times 2 base of RAM so so 4GB times 2 your current one plus with the new RAM 4GB times 2 then the maximum of RAM you have can go up to 16 gigabytes so in example 2 if you have a higher end computer and uh, you have 8 gigabyte times 2 sticks so you have 16 gigabytes so you need to upgrade only 8 gigabyte times 2 base of RAM so your current 8 gigabyte times 2 plus new RAM which is 8 gigabyte times 2 sticks can go up to 32 gigabytes this is only works all this example works if you have 4 slots some high-end slots nowadays there is uh, one stick of 8 gigabyte of RAM or they, they only come with two slots so one RAM stick is equivalent to 16 gigabytes so you can only upgrade to the next new slot another 16 gigabyte RAM slot which is expensive but it depends on your on your uh, configuration uh, on your setup of course but in my case uh, I'm currently using a 4 times 2 so I can go up to 16 gigabytes so yeah okay I have to keep in mind that the 32 bit and 64 bit computer base so majority of all computers are now 64 bit but older computers uses 32 bit so the maximum it can go is up to 4 gigabytes of RAM only alright so number two so types of RAM so DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4 DDR4 is the latest but DDR3 is still usable till now because I'm currently using it right now and it's very hard to get nowadays to get DDR3 but consider it is, uh, it is still cheaper than DDR4 because I don't know, even know why DDR4 has to be so freaking expensive mm, yeah so if you guys are using DDR2 you're, you guys are grandpa DDR1 is basically ancestor who uses that right uh, okay so number three check specs for cross-checking so when you go to the website of the RAM that you wanted to buy and your current RAM you always compare the specifications you always look at this one this is just technical you just want to look at whether it's tally or not then you look into the features whether whether does it tally or not but uh, you have to look at these two things JDAC and XMP so you can see both sides uh, they have different kind of uh, specs here um, on my right Fury HyperX is DDR3 and DDR4 is on my left so you can see that the um, CL15 and CL10 on both sides are different because uh, they have different types of um, specs and because of their DDR3 and DDR4 and though they also use a different kind of voltage 1.2 and 1.5 right? I will explain to you guys this later on so number four check the spins whether it's correct or not so ddr3 uses a 240 pin on the hyperx and the ddr4 uses a 288 pin so you can see an upgrade there so motherboards uh, and current uh, cpus uh, they also look into this kind of specs uh, because you cannot put in a ddr3 and a ddr4 board so if you were to have what if you were using a ddr3 motherboard and you didn't upgrade your memory up to 10 years for, for example in 2020 there's no more DDR3 memory so you cannot put a DDR4 on, on a DDR3 motherboard so it's impossible because DDR3 motherboard only accepts 240 pins 
the you have to buy the new motherboard in order to guys you guys get the the new upgrade of RAM DDR4. So let's also number five check the megahertz. Um, currently I'm a DDR3 user. I'm currently using a thousand six hundred megahertz. So that's considered the the lowest as for now. But outside, dude, a long time ago there was DDR2. It was around eight hundred megahertz and so on. No one uses that anymore. Now everyone uses two thousand four hundred megahertz above, uh, they, because they are DDR four users. So yeah. So this is what I stated just now about the voltage. So DDR four uses one point two voltage and DDR three uses one point five. So you have to keep in mind that the voltage use is pretty uh, pretty efficient as well in DDR four. Uh, you can see there the the jump from one one hundred thirty three megabyte per second to 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 three thousand two hundred megabyte per second. So in DDR three, it can go to one thousand six, as I mentioned just now. That was my configuration base. Uh, it can go up to two thousand one hundred megahertz for DDR three, but in this case, DDR four takes the lead up to three thousand two hundred megabyte per second. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, anyways, uh, lastly, look into the chat configuration. So, in order for you guys to get this, you have to download this CPU Z. Uh, the link is under in the description below. So, the configuration you press on the fourth tab, which is the memory tab, to see the uh, always uh, every YouTuber say it about the CL latency, cast latency, and so on. This is it. So you have to cross check with your JDAC standard and XMP. So JDAC. Uh, the the gather information of CA, CL, TRCD, TRP, TRAS, level 1128 uh, this one only reference to the JDAC standard it's not the XMP don't don't freak out guys <laughs> if you guys want to buy this from somewhere you have to check this one um, the fourth the fifth tab which is the SPD this one will also will tell you XMP you can see here where my mouse pointing XMP is the last one this one will show the XMP alright so um, if you were to check again if you don't know where to get your JDAC XMP look at the description there is a state saying JDAC and XMP values and so on and from there you cross check okay you cross check and you then the voltage is the same your JDAC is the same then then you buy it lah okay and it's the same then consider it's okay so lastly how to get dual channel my mistake uh, before this was that there is four slots of RAM I put number one and number two which is wrong I got a channel stated here single channel so how to get dual channel you guys have to put a slot number one and number three in order to get dual channel all right so I think that's about it if it's not the same don't buy the RAM don't upgrade it uh, or more or less you guys go ask the technician guy at the shop to to fix for you but this is just for argument's sake if people want to buy their own RAM from the internet so anyways hopefully you guys enjoy this video I'm sorry about uh, all this this is basically spontaneous kind of talking uh, yeah uh, please uh, support by giving a like and subscribe to my channel peace out guys.